Hello everyone, so I'm in Calcutta right now and suddenly I got the urge to make one video. So I'm making this video about the 5 tips on how to learn DSA. So let's start with tip number 1 that is have a dedicated time slot for learning DSA. So when you're learning DSA, I want you to have a dedicated time slot for it. So instead of sometimes giving it half an hour a day, sometimes 2 hours a day and instead of being inconsistent, I want you to have a dedicated time slot entirely for learning DSA. So a problem that majority of the people face is inconsistency. So when you have a particular time slot that you dedicate entirely to learning DSA, then you become consistent and it really helps you in solving problems and learning new concepts. So have a particular time frame, either two hours or three hours, and try to solve problem every day consistently in that time slot. So have a time slot that is entirely just for learning DSA. And tip number two, so tip number two is don't skip the basics. So a mistake that majority of the students make is that they just learn the basics very briefly, they learn the theory very briefly, and they go straight to solving problems. And that can be very disadvantageous down the line. So what you should do is you should give a proper amount of time to learning the theory, to learning the basics. And I've mentioned in my other videos, the order that should be followed is first learn the theory, learn the basics, then learn the implementation, then solve problems, okay? So don't skip the basics, don't skip the theory, and just go straight to solving problems. First learn the basics, learn the theory, then learn the implementation, and only then go to solving the problems. So have to so give a particular amount of time in learning the basics and learning a theory. Do not skip it. Okay, tip number three is dry run your code. So a lot of times what happens is you look at a code and you think you understand it, you assume that you understand it, but later you realize that you don't understand it. So a great way to understand any piece of code is to dry run it. So whenever there's a code where you even have an inkling of doubt or whenever there's a code that you have difficulty understanding, always dry run it. Take a pen, take a paper and see the code, get a test case, write a test case and see what happens to the test case by dry running each line of the code. So look at each line of the code and make change to the, to the test case, see what happens to the input, see how the output is coming, dry run each line of that code. And dry running a code with a pen and paper is the easiest way and the most efficient way of understanding code. So once you dry run the code, you'll understand every line of what's happening and how the code is working. So whenever there's a code you have difficulty understanding, try to dry run it with a piece of pen and paper and you'll be able to understand it very, very clearly. Okay, tip number four is have a single source of learning. So there's a lot of websites where you can learn DSA. There's majority of, there's a lot of websites, you know, there's Geeks for Geeks, there's Udemy, there's Coursera, there's a lot of things, lot of places where you can learn DSA. But I want you to narrow down the places you're learning from. So try to have a single source of learning or very few sources of learning. Don't go like you're learning English from one place, recursion from one place, dynamic programming from one place. Don't do like that. Try to stick to one resource, okay? So whenever you find a good resource, whether it's geek for geeks whether it's a course on Udemy, whenever you find a good resource, stick to that, okay? Instead of changing resources, have a single source of learning to avoid confusion and it really helps you in later down the line when you're revising, okay? And that brings me to tip number five, is don't forget the old topics, keep revising the old topics. So you'll be learning new things daily. If you're doing DSA, you'll be learning new things every day. Whenever you're learning, you might learn something new. But that does not mean that you keep forgetting the old things that you've learned. So time to time, keep revising the new things. Don't forget them. So if you've read a data structure long back and now you're on some other topic, make sure that you don't lose touch with that either. Okay, so while learning new things, don't lose touch with the old topics. Keep revising the old topics as well. Okay, so keep revising time to time whatever you've learned before parallel to learning new things. So not to lose touch with any other topic. Solve problems from the previous topics as well while learning new topics so that you don't lose touch with anything. Okay, so the five tips are done but I have one more bonus tip for you and this tip is note making. Okay, so whenever you're learning DSA, make notes. Get a pen, get a paper, get a notebook and write down your notes, write down the points and hell even write down the codes. So while learning DSA, everything is online, right? Solving problems is, not, is online, learning is online, code is online, and the pen and the paper is no longer in the process. But I strongly believe that writing is a great way to learn new things and to improve your thought process, okay? So whenever you're learning DSA, have a notebook, make notes, write the code in the notebook as well, and whatever your thought process is, write down in the notes. And later down, you can, later down the line, 
you can use these notes for revision okay so that's pretty much it guys these were the five tips and if you have any doubts leave them in the comments i'll be sure to answer and this is one of the many videos that i'll be making about dsa and placement preparation so if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel it really helps me out and until next time thank you